Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how many tests we can run in parallel using TestNG? Let me answer. The answer is unlimited number of tests we can run in parallel using TestNG. There is no limit, but practically that is not feasible. Okay, so maybe up to three to four tests if you run in parallel in a single machine, in a general common single machine, okay? So according to the resources that particular machine has, there may not be any problems. But when you reach or increase the count behind four, five, okay? There's a possibility that because of the limited resources that particular machine has, okay? When multiple browsers open up, at the same time and the tests are running, automation scripts are running, there is a possibility that the system will break down, okay? Or the scripts will run very slow, okay? There is no use of uh, running them in parallel. The main intention of running the tests in parallel is to, you know, save the time. But ultimately, what's happening? Up to some tests, it's okay. Like up to one, two, three, four, up to two, three, four tests, it's okay. So optimal, we have to find out the optimal number of tests, okay, that we need to run in parallel without impacting the performance of the machine or the resource without impacting the resources of the machine. Okay, if you find something optimal and then we are able to save the time because of running the tests in parallel, that's okay in practical world. But if you simply give the count saying that, okay, you can pass any number of tests, okay, you can run any number of tests in parallel and if you give 100, let's say, okay, if you mention 100, what will happen? When you run the scripts at a time, 100 browser instances will open at the same time in every browser instance one test need to run. And uh, unfortunately, the machine where you are running your tests may not be able to bear that load, okay? And uh, the resources of that machine may not support this many number of tests to run in parallel. And because of which either your system will break down or the scripts are going to run dead slow. They're going to take a lot of time, okay, when compared to the running the tests in sequential manner or one after the another, this 100 tests running in parallel, let's assume, okay, may take more time, okay, when running parallel. So that is against the use of parallel execution, right? With parallel execution, we should save the time. So the answer is, you know, we can run unlimited number of tests in parallel. There is no limit, okay, if you go to this project. And uh, simply go to this testng.xml file. Here, you mention parallel is equal to test and uh, you mention thread count is equal to five. So up to three to four, it's okay. But when you give like 100, for example, okay, if you give 100, this will impact the performance, okay? In the single machine, 100 tests running in parallel is not uh, practical, okay? So like this, generally people will give something like this and test will run in parallel and they will save the time, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. The answer is unlimited number of tests we can run in parallel, but in practical. So when you are explaining this, uh, if you simply say unlimited and if you don't complete that saying that if you give more number of tests to run in parallel, if you specify more number of tests to run in parallel in test and XML file, then what will happen to this particular attribute thread count? If you give more number here, okay, then what will happen? The test will slow down or the machine will crash because it may not, may not have that amount of resources which can bear that load and the system may even go down also, okay? So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.